hello and welcome back to my another tutorial in this tutorial i'm going to share with you how to set up hp mfpm 277n printer driver with your desktop or laptop computer so let's take a look how to do that <laughs> I hope you easily unbox this printer if you brought this printer uh, new and uh, try to add some paper in the tray and easily close and then in this printer back side there is a power cable. This is the printer back side looks we can see I think inside this box you will get a power cable and then you will get a USB cable which is printer connector. If it is not available, you have to buy one for to set up or install this printer driver in your computer. So first of all, I'm going to uh, plug in this power cable here. You can see like this. And then I'm going to add this printer connector in this uh, back side. You will see here is a printer uh, connector. And then I will add this. Uh, USB cable in my laptop or desktop whatever you have you can add like this and now it's ready for use now I am going to on this printer and then you will see here is a, a printer so that you can do these basic things we can see here this printer is already turned on and you can see here the uh, menu and then now we will install this printer with our computer you will notice maybe you lose this uh, printer try a uh, setup file or uh, you maybe not have so or your laptop or desktop not supported dvd uh, driver so in this case you no need to uh, you should have that setup file uh, for the dvd i will share it to how you can easily uh, download the driver from internet and then later on how you can install in your computer now i am going to open my uh, favorite browser and then i'm going to type here my printer model so my printer model is hp mfp m277n space driver and hit enter and you will see there will become hp Cologic pro mfp m277 n software and driver so we're going to open this i will put this uh, website or this printer driver link in my video description so you can directly jump over here if we go in here you will see uh, here is fpl like this option you have to choose you can see here is writing here recommended it so that means we have to download this it will be uh, more powerful for us to use this printer so i'm going to click here download and it's going to be download in my pc you can see here it's appear a pop-up i'm going to click here save and this file size is around i think 166 mb uh, and after this download process i'm going to share with you by step by step how you can set up this set, uh, printer or set up this file and then later on you can easily print out anything from your computer you can see here already this printer driver is downloaded now i'm going to click here run you can also either click open folder so i'm going to click here run and this device is uh, this printer the software is going to be accepting and then later on it will give me option for setup process so i'm wait for this process uh 100 percent extracting this exe or setup file we can see here here is launch hp installer so we'll see what the next step will appear here you can see it's giving us a message for please disconnect usb cable from the product before continue so we're going to uh, like uh, before we had connected this uh, printer usb cable we're going to unplug this and then we're going to click here ok and later on it will give our option to uh, connect so we're going to choose here uh, this one and then we're going to click here next 
and then I'm going to click here I have review and accept the instruction agreement and then again I'm going to click here next and then we will see uh, this printer is installing so we will wait and it will again give uh, us option for this uh, connect this USB cable so we will wait until this finish process so I'm going to click here again next and then you can see here it's have a better option to set up so we're going to click here directly connect so it is already selected I'm going to click here next and then we have to connect this uh, USB cable in our desktop or printer so uh, in laptop or desktop so I already connected and we will see this printer is already uh, detecting and installing this uh, driver you can see it will uh, it's this detecting and it will take some time depend on your printer cable or depend on your uh, computer specification or qualification it will take uh, maybe depend uh, it will take maybe uh, several minutes so we will be patient for this configuration process we can see here the software already installed and it's giving us option to a reboot or restart our PC to work this software properly but I'm going to click here robot uh, letter reboot letter so or uh, later on so I can share with you guys all the things about uh, like I want to just print this space is it working or not so I'm going to click here uh, reboot letter and then let's see what's uh, going other options now already this software is installed in my computer now I'm going to in uh, my device let me see is it installed properly or not so I'm going to click here control panel and then I'm going to click here hardware and sound and then I'm going to click here device and printer and I will refresh this screen I will see here here is just now we see HP color jet pro mfp m277 that means the software is installed successfully in my computer so now I want to make this printer as a default printer so later on whenever I'm going to print anything it's going to print uh, choosing this uh, printer so I'm going to click here right click over there and click here say default printer I'm going to choose here this one you can see here two appears so anyway some issues etc so you're going to choose here you can choose either this or either that check that which one is working so I'm going to choose here this one and it's going to be my default printer now I'm going to open a word document and let me check uh, is it printing properly or not so I'm going to uh, choose a blank document and then I'm going to type here my channel name here now I'm going to click here file and then click here print and then we'll see the printer is connected here and now I'm going to uh, click here print you can see here the printer sound is singing and then that means there is something printing and we can see right over here just now I have print this document so this is how you can easily install in your computer printer diver color laser jet pro mfp m277n so that's for now thanks for watching my video see you next one peace